I first met in college. Syracuse. At a mixer. She caused me to spill my drink. Accidentally. So I said. He had the nerve to tell me I had to buy him another one, which I did. And then the rest of the night we laughed and we talked. Oh, we had a great time. And we agreed to meet a week later. On an official date. So I showed up looking really good. Here's the thing. There was this sophomore named Lisa. Here's the thing. He was dancing with another girl. I grabbed my coat, very dramatic, and I walked off. Nice view. I followed. We've been together ever since. My wife can recite all the stops on the Long Island Railroad in a conductor's voice. Oh, boy. <laughs> she could. She, she could. absolutely come on, could. Do come on, do it. I don't want to oh, do come it. On, come do on, do it. I, I love it when you say, run, come, come on. Yeah. Oh, come on. Come on, do it. Do it, do it, do it. The 701 to Babylon, now departing on track 16, Woodside, Jamaica, St. Albans, Lenbrook, Rockville, St. Albans, Dwayne Freeport, Merrick, Belmore, Wanta, Seaford, Mazapequa, Mazapequa Park, Amityville, Copic, Lindenhurst, and Babylon. Yes! yes. The story of McElary. I am a newspaper reporter, and I love my job. And I'm doing God's work. I'm serving the public. I'm telling people what happened yesterday. I'm telling them the facts. I'm rewarding the good guys, and I'm putting the bad guys away. And fuck you, Cotter. There is such a thing as facts. There, that's my story. Your story is you're a kid with a bad case of Breslinitis. And you're probably never going to get over it. Well, that's how you tell the story. Exactly. You've also got a gut for red meat. You get people to talk who don't want to talk. And someday, you're going to have your own column. You really think so? Because I swear to God, that's all I've ever wanted. Am I writing a column in New York City? Everything else is, is second place. And you think it might happen? I do. Well, when it does, that'll be a fact. Oh, jeez. Ah. Ah, ah. I got a wife and a kid. <laughs> you left that out of the story. So did you! It's a $550,000 house. You can't afford it. Mudroom. What the fuck is a mudroom? Oh, don't, don't, don't go on like you grew up knowing what a mudroom was. <laughs> you were once a dumb mick just like me. <laughs> a mudroom? You dumb mick. It's the room where you take off your muddy boots if it happens to be muddy outside. Well, that's just what we need. Trust me, once you have one, you never know how you live without it. <laughs> hey, I got an idea. I retain you. Yeah. Isn't that what people do with lawyers? They retain them. Well, I hereby retain you as my lawyer. So now, it's your job to figure out a way for me to pay for this house. Get out of here. No, this is my house. I'm not going anywhere. Now get the fuck out of my house. Oh, no, you get the fuck out of my house. All right, who the hell are you? Uh, you know that big cop scandal in the 72nd Precinct, the Buddy Boys or the 77? I uncovered that. You uncovered that. I am that guy, and I'm not going to be a reporter forever. At some point, I'm going to have a column. The next Jimmy Breslin. Bigger than Breslin. And when that happens, you can uh, do my new contract. I'm going to want a big expense account and start thinking now about some other things I might want. Like a car? Like a car. Well, I got a car. Well, we'll get you a better car. What else? Car for your wife? Your wife have a car? You could get the paper to pay for a car for my wife? It's feasible. It's feasible. A pied a terre? Yeah. What is that? <laughs> it's an apartment in town. Sure. Let's do it. Ha. Tell me something out of curiosity. You're speaking to Wilsey? Why wouldn't I be speaking to Wilsey? He didn't go to scab school. They don't make the editor in chief go to scab school. They didn't make you go. You didn't have to go. They can't fire you, Hap. Don't make me spell it well, out. Uh, are you saying I didn't have to go to scab school because I'm black? Am I saying that? Yeah, I'm saying that. You fuck you. You have no idea. I never got a break because of that. You have no idea how hard I had to work. How many white guys had to forget I'm black for me to be where I am. And my heart is bleeding. You're an asshole, thank you. I am. An asshole. I absolutely am, and I'll tell you why. Because I confused you with me. And that was my mistake. I never confused Wilsey. I confused you because we closed the bar. Because we once almost drove off the Brooklyn So because bridge. we're friends, you get to sell me out. Is that what you're saying? I get to hang out with a bunch of fucking borderline, psychotic, racist, Irish, drunken pussies, and you get to sell me out when it's convenient. That's what you're saying. I'm just speaking the truth. The truth is you don't give a shit about anybody or anything but yourself. You're climbing a greasy pole, you fuck. 
ready for your close-up. Soon, you'll be wearing makeup on the picket line. You said you wouldn't tell anybody I was going to Florida. Yeah, I did, I promise. You promised. But you know what? Changed my mind. 